a few days ago I got a question on Instagram about what are the best settings for landscape photography. Now there isn't a one size fits all answer to this but there are a few things that you can do to put yourself in a position to win. So there's three main things, you've got the ISO, you've got the shutter speed and the aperture. Now my personal taste is I like everything to be in focus so I tend to be between f8 and f16 for most things and that tends to be like a sweet spot for most lenses and it just means that you get everything in focus from front to back most of the time and that's just what I prefer. One thing with that is with the focusing you're going to want to focus about a third of the way in so probably around here can't really see the screen but if you focus there that area is going to be in focus and then it'll get slightly softer towards the back but for the most part that's going to get you what you want and then next thing is the ISO you want to keep that as low as possible because the higher you put that the more grainy the picture is going to be so I tend to put that at 50 on this camera I think you might have to go to 100 it depends on the camera body but as low as possible is the best so with those settings we've got f8 and iso 100 now you might be like you might have a camera in your hand as you're watching this video and you might find that the shutter speed is saying like three or four seconds and you might be wondering how am i actually going to get that and you're going to need a tripod um, it's not a setting but it is going to give you more options that camera has been running for two or three minutes now and i doubt the picture has moved and i tend to vary my settings with the shutter speed most of the time like i'll keep them two other numbers the same and then just choose a shutter speed that fits now if you're wondering how you're going to get the right exposure with those settings when you're looking through the viewfinder there's going to be a little sort of a scale at the bottom and you want to get it sort of in the middle most of the time that tends to be about right so um, I'll put a picture on the screen for you when you're looking through on Canon it's on the bottom line or if you've got the live view on it's on the bottom line as well so they're the main three. Other things that can help is the white balance. I often leave it on auto, if I'm honest. It, the camera tends to do quite a good job of doing that. And I personally shoot in raw format. So you might have seen on the back of the camera you got raw or you got JPEG. And you want to shoot as big a picture as possible it just gives you more options later on and you're going to get a better quality image if you shoot jpeg um, you can't do as much in editing software it kind of isn't i was going to say it is what it is you can do a few tweaks but you're going to have problems sooner if you're shooting raw you can choose the white balance afterwards you can make a lot of changes afterwards it's basically an unprocessed file compared to a slightly processed file. It depends on what your end goal is. If you want to get into editing, shoot raw. If you just want to take a picture, JPEG is probably fine for you. Um, another little thing that I like to do is with the... Um, it's called drive settings on a Canon. Basically how the shutter works so you can take like a single shot you can have it in continuous or you can put it onto a timer I personally like to put it onto a timer so two seconds is quite good you can press the shutter and then by the time two seconds is out your camera is balanced out and you can get a sharp image or you can use a trigger release as well which is more reliable but it's an extra thing to carry so I find two second timer does pretty well. Now, they're the main settings that I use. There are a few different things that you can do to fine tune it afterwards.
but that's going to get you into the ballpark and I reckon that's a good starting point. So if you've got any more questions like this, if you follow me over on Instagram, it's Adam Capper. I often do posts on the story asking what you want to see. So just ask me a question on there or I'll leave a question down in the comments. Or if all that sounds like too much effort and you just want a nice landscape picture, I've got prints and greetings cards over on adamkappa.co.uk. Um, you don't even have to leave the house to see those. So yeah, if you want to see more things like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike. But yeah, I hope you did like it and I'll see you in the next one.